Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others or on the internet. In the last episode of Know Your Mind segment, we clarified conscious and unconscious thought processes and how unconscious thought process affect our conscious decisions, actions and behaviors besides opening our conscious decisions to be influenced by debilitating unconscious biases. In this episode, we consider the nature of and difference between conscious and unconscious biases. A bias is defined as a prejudice in favor of or against a thing, person or a group. In comparison with another thing, person or a group and which is considered to be unfair. Understood as described above, Biases can be held by an individual, a group or an institution and these biases when acted upon can bring about negative or positive consequences. There are two types of biases identified in contemporary literature namely conscious or explicit biases and unconscious or implicit biases. Let us briefly speak about each of them. Conscious or explicit biases. Conscious or explicit biases are learned assumptions, beliefs and attitudes a person is consciously aware of. Conscious biases are known to a person and he is intentional about them and responds to them. A person is clear regarding his thoughts and feelings about these biases and conducts the related actions and behaviors with full intention. Explicit biases are processed neurologically at the conscious level as declarative statements, semantic and long-term memory and expressed verbally. Conscious biases in their extreme form can manifest in overt negative behaviors such as bullying, physical and verbal harassment or through more indirect means such as exclusion and isolation in group situations. Since conscious biases operate in the realm of everyone's awareness, we can identify conscious biases based on race, age, gender, gender identity, physical abilities, religion, sexual orientation and the like in the individual, group or institutional levels and address and regulate their negative fallouts with the help of well-framed laws and policies. Unconscious or implicit biases. Unconscious or implicit biases are assumptions, beliefs and attitudes learned in the context of the past experiences but we are not consciously aware of them. Implicit biases are developed over time as we accumulate life experiences and get exposed to different stereotypes of thinking, feeling and acting. They are social stereotypes about certain groups of people that individuals form outside their own conscious awareness. They include both favorable and unfavorable assessments and are actively involuntary without an individual's awareness and intentional control. Unconscious biases reside in the subconscious or unconscious levels of the mind, operate outside a person's conscious awareness and can be in direct contradiction to his accepted beliefs and values. The danger of implicit biases is that they automatically seep into a person's conscious thought process without his awareness. 
and interferes with his ability to make assessment of a given situation and enables him to make compromises while making decisions. They are mental shortcuts that aid our decision-making process. As a result, these unconscious biases have a significant impact on our limiting beliefs and behaviors. Everyone holds unconscious biases about various social and identity groups. These biases stem from our tendency to organize the social groups by categorizing. They are far more prevalent than conscious biases and often incompatible with our conscious values. Whether we realize it or not, our unconscious biases influence every aspect of our life. From the way we think to the way we interact with our family, friends and colleagues. They also affect the way a business firm hires the workforce, interact in the business circles and make business decisions. Since these biases are implicit and unconscious, it is more difficult to identify them. If not identified and properly addressed, unconscious biases can have a negative impact on the individual, group, and institutional workplace, culture, and team dynamics. Let us give two examples of unconscious biases operating in the context of a business firm and its workforce. An interviewer for job selection meets the first candidate. He instantly likes the candidate as the candidate reminds him of his school time friend and instinctively feels that he would be a great fit for the job. Then he, without his full awareness, makes the candidate feel comfortable through the rest of the interview and makes the candidate fare well at the interview. The interviewer treated all other candidates he interviewed differently than the first one because he was guided by the unconscious bias towards the first candidate. Likewise, selecting the workforce for the new information technology sector of a company, the team leader selects all younger members of the staff from each department in the process missing out many older staff members who were more qualified and experienced in information technology because the team leader without his knowledge was guided by the unconscious bias younger staff members are more computer proficient not only in the business circles but also in every dimension of our daily living Unconscious biases are operative and without our conscious awareness, we are being led by them. Hence, we must know how unconscious biases are formed in us so as to identify them and limit their influence on us. In the next episode, we will consider those things that bring about the formation of unconscious biases in us. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed until we see you again with another video.